the Vikings came around eight or 900 up the river here behind me and they harvested salmon. There was lots of industry in Leakslip. It was always an industrial town because the power was the water. When Intel came here, they were able to construct a new factory up there in 18 months with an Irish guy in charge of the whole operation. The site is one kilometre long and down about three storeys into the ground in order to secure a stable footing for the delicate operations that go on, you know, a fraction of a gnat's whisker on the chips. I don't think people are aware of what happens behind the laurel up there. The day I came in, at least for two months, I was in awe. My manager, he took me to the fab. I just looked up and I saw these overhead vehicles carrying the first and I was like, where am I? Is this is this like is this like Star Trek or something like that? <laughs> I knew that, you know, I'm standing on the edge of technology. It still amazes me. The raw ingredient that we start with is sand, one of the most abundant elements on the planet. And we end up with the most complicated devices made by humans. Everything in between is creativity, capability, endeavor, hard work, blood, sweat, and tears of the people that we have. My passion is my job, basically, because I have the most interesting job in this world. I'm responsible to build and maintain the best-in-class clean room environment for Intel production. My name is Rory McGrath, I'm an engineer and tech in Intel in the dielectrics department. I would assist the manufacturing technicians on the floor with their repair stuff, their preventative maintenance stuff, anything that's revolving around continuous improvement. Don't accept what you're doing now is the best way of doing things, because it's not. Somebody will always have a better way of doing what you're doing now. If it's a small little 3D print that's going to stop this little glitch, that's really what it boils down to. Here in Fab 24, we make pretty much every one of the products that Intel makes here on site, and that requires just huge innovation. I sit every day at my tack ops, and I see engineers, technicians, making the impossible possible, and to deliver the results that they have helped deliver is a real testament to the country as well. And the technology that's been developed here is the cutting edge of it. But it's also the stuff that's going to drive the next phase. Changing environments kind of drive me. One day you could think your day is going to be really quiet and then it can go any direction, which I do like. It's a buzz. Dan's a dedicated ERT member. He does organize drills on a weekly basis. And he just throw in strange scenarios that may or may never happen. And hopefully they don't. One of the things about Intel that I love is that I expect to come to work and not be hurt. Our results would say that we are among the safest factories in the world. On this site alone, there's probably almost 5,000 people on it. It's a town. The combined effort of those people all over the world, it's quite remarkable to see what they're able to produce as a collective. My name is Estelle Brochet. I'm a hardware verification engineer for Intel Movidius. Artificial intelligence is growing. It's coming to our house, making our houses smart. In the near future, the smart cities. My day job is the director of the Network Platforms and Systems Group, which is a small division within the broader data-centric organization within Intel. You know, our ability to use you know, tools and infrastructure to better ourselves you know, to better that planet, better that community. I believe that's legacy that we should aspire to. Intel is right now going from a PC-centric company to a data-centric company. We used to have just data in text form. Now it's all video, it's image, it's speech. It's, it's what we're all working with every day on our mobile phones. Intel will support you and provide you with opportunities. So if you really want it inside, you can climb the ladder. You can do the training, do your education if you don't have it, grow over time, network, and apply for the jobs, get experience, eventually you get what you want if you really, really want it.
It's hugely important that we keep our employees happy with their careers, developing in their careers, so that they will give back and contribute to Intel's success and, and keep it all going. That's our crown jewels, if you like. Intel will take great protection of its surrounding environments. The people that are here are sharing their knowledge, their experiences, their roles, passing it on to the new generation. In any given day, I could be in a level one task force looking at why we have a gas purity that's moved from one part per billion to two parts per billion. I've also had days here where I've been called to the back of the site because nobody is brave enough to round up a stray goat. On the Ireland site and in Lixlip here, we take great pride in actually taking our environmental footprint to the next level. We planted an entire biodiversity meadow at the back of the site, across a special area of conservation, across a beautifully clean and fishable river, and within 50 yards of that having the most advanced technological semiconductor factory in Europe. Intel as a whole fosters community and that's because of the multiple events we have. One of the big things that I always participate in is the charity event. Across the board there's always great significant support and this is from Eamon Sinnott down and that's something that was unexpected for me. It builds that level of community where everyone tries to help each other as much as they can. You know, we're all one Intel, and that's constantly being communicated. We're one Intel trying to help out each other. What I've done in the past few years is brought in kids' school camps, where we brought the GA in with the kids' school camps for Intel employees' children. Just something different to make people feel a bit more positive about the site, especially when we're so busy. One of the things that struck me about Intel is the fiercely egalitarian nature of the place. There's no privilege that comes with seniority or rank. If you show that you're available and you spark an interest, I think Intel goes above and beyond. You know, we'll just take you under your wings like, you know, like these eagles. Very, very proud of the skills and capabilities of the people here that have made that success. I've had a great life with Intel. Great career, you know, very varied career. I have so many extraordinary good experience. It's been a brilliant and great tour of years. What happens and takes place in here is magic.